shortage could negatively affect your kids in more ways than we thought. For weeks now, you've been hearing from teachers only on Wink News as they try and get better pay from the Lee County School District. Now those teachers are telling Wink News reporter Claire Galt the students are acting out in class. Claire is with us live from the newsroom. Claire, what do teachers say is happening? Amanda, some kids in combined classes or ones without a regular teacher are on their phone. Others are roughhousing. Many are distracted knowing that every day is different. Now, a lot of these teachers admit that a lot of these kids are just kids acting how any kid would act when there's no consistency in the classroom. These children are calmly doing their schoolwork, raising their hands asking their teacher questions, sitting in their seats. A number of Lee County teachers told me classrooms like these, these days, would be a dream. So the kids are sitting in there playing on their phones or playing on their Chromebooks or working on other work or putting their head down and going to sleep. I mean, we have students, you know, they'll throw desks and chairs and classrooms. Here we are six weeks into the school year. And teacher after teacher has called or emailed or texted me to say they can't keep covering classes that still don't have a teacher. Right now, Lee County Schools is short 196 educators. It's like a, a dumpster fire. The art rooms are incredibly small, like horribly, horribly small, and they've got 36 students in there. Some teachers who reach out to me ask me to conceal their identities. My husband died four months ago, and I am the sole provider for my four children, and I just can't take that risk. But they feel they must speak up. Let the district know the teacher shortage doesn't just impact a child's education. In some cases, it's changing their behavior. There's no discipline. Profanity is out of control. They told me kids don't behave especially when there's a new sub every day, or when two classes are combined into one, or when the classes students want to take are full. They've dumped kids into my advanced course. They don't want to be there. So then they become behavior problems. In the middle of negotiating a new contract with Lee County Schools. The district will not comment other than to say its latest offer is an 8% raise across the board. Now the union plans to counter that at the next bargaining session set for Tuesday. Amanda. All right, thank you.